ultimately our goal was to have some closure for the family and I hope that this does in, in a little bit anyway because um, they're not wondering anyways where their loved one's at. The body of Connie Snyder was discovered on Saturday around 4 p.m. in a portion of frozen water near the Boardman River, close to the intersection of Island Lake Road and US 131. Uh, it was originally found by a teenage boy that was uh, kind of skating on top of the ice and came across some clothing that was sticking up from the ice. The area was blocked off as the village police, the Kalkaska County Sheriff's Department, and Michigan State Police worked to remove Connie's body. Watched him with a four-wheeler. They took a, a wire basket out and into the swamp, and then uh, a little time later they come back with a body bag on, a, on the basket. Doug Nortzer lives across the street from where the body was found. He's among many community members and investigators who still have unanswered questions about what happened to Connie Snyder. Depends if she's been there all along or if she, you know, it could have been, she could have fell on up, upstream and then floated down this way too. Uh, or the high water, she could have been tangled in the underbrush out there and uh, surfaced. Hard, hard to sell. The big help will be what the autopsy report um, shows and then we can move in whichever direction we have to. So, um, you know, that's going to tell us a lot as to what happened um, that night.